Kansas lawmakers talking about a plan that would lessen penalties for some offenders caught with marijuana. We are tracking how it compares to the ordinance Wichitans will vote on. Good evening. Wichita City leaders have already voted to let residents decide the future of marijuana reform. Now, Kansas lawmakers are considering a similar change to state laws. All new at 5, Cakes and Net Lawless is tracking details on this new bill being considered. Today I spoke with State Representative Gail Fenney and she tells me this new bill would reduce criminal penalties for those in possession of marijuana. Advocates here in Wichita are anxious to see what's next. We're trying to end the criminal penalties on the possession of marijuana. For nearly a year, Janice Bradley has pushed for marijuana reform in Wichita. Now as the state moves forward with a similar plan to change how it punishes offenders, she says it's the right move. We expend more to incarcerate someone for a nonviolent offense like that more than someone makes in a year if they make the minimum wage. However, Representative Finney tells me this plan is not as strong as what's before Wichita voters. Overall, the plan would drop first and second time possession offenses below the felony level. This means offenders are less likely to see prison time. This move could save the state about $800,000 a year. Classifying them as criminals is absurd. Mike Golden is with Kansas for Change, the group behind legalization billboards across the state. Though he does support lower penalties, he's helped draft another bill to legalize cannabis, something he says would benefit the state economically and ethically. Nearly half a million people every year are dying from tobacco use, almost 100,000 from alcohol use, and not a single person's ever died from pot use. So why are we locking those people up but embracing alcohol and tobacco as if it's something good? And as for what's next for this bill, Finney tells me it's currently in committee, but it could reach the House floor next week. Thank you, Annette. The vote on the Wichita ordinance is set for April 7th. If it passes, it's expected to face a challenge by the state.